Let's not kid ourselves. We are all looking forward to Saturday Night Live tomorrow when Donald Trump guest hosts. But think about it for a minute. This is the same network that refused to carry Trump's Miss Universe pageant because of his remarks about Mexicans. I guess that was then. This is now. You're fired. When NBC announced it was canceling Celebrity Apprentice, that was one thing. After all, Donald Trump is a presidential candidate. But then the same network got on its high horse and dropped Trump's Miss Universe pageants after he called Mexicans drug dealers and rapists. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. Now, apparently, all is forgiven. Perhaps the Peacock Network is willing to let Trump preen because there's no doubt he will draw huge ratings. Hi, I'm Donald Trump, and I'll be hosting Saturday Night Live this week. That was one promo NBC released this week, but another one made it clear he will be taking some pot shots. And because of equal time rules for television, Mr. Trump can only speak for four seconds in this promo. So let me just say this. Ben Carson is a complete and total loser. NBC claims releasing that promo was a mistake. Uh, I don't think so. As for the equal time rule, let's just say it's squishy. NBC has allowed other top-tier candidates time on SNL, too. All anyone wants to talk about is Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Isn't he the one that's like, uh, you're all losers? <laughs> Hillary Clinton must have been clairvoyant. Then again, it was a pretty safe bet that Trump would call someone a loser. I just think it's there's hypocrisy here with uh, NBC. And, and, I, and I actually do believe that Lauren Michaels, who's the executive producer of SNL, operates completely independent of the rest of the network. And we've all been places where there's one person who just kind of says, that's what I'm doing. I don't think he called up the entertainment chief or the news chief and said, by the way, I'm doing this. He just did it. But after, his, after that same network had, you know, said, you know, it's a disgrace what he said about, uh, you know, Latinos and Mexicans, after they decided that they had to cancel a, another entertainment program because he was the star of it to then give him basically a 90-minute form. And as I, I alluded to this whole equal time thing, the squishy is, 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 is to say the least of it. It's, it's, it's almost without teeth at this point. You know, the equal time rules used to have, was, was much, we used to be paranoid about giving people equal time. It really doesn't exist. Well, the equal time rules are very weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he went on Stephen Colbert, because it's a talk show, yeah. the equal time provisions don't apply, right. even though it's also an entertainment show. So it just seems to me that the whole equal time thing is, is, is silly anyway. Um, I, I do think that, nevertheless, NBC is clearly putting ratings and profits above uh, any What's sense wrong with of. That? Well, if, well, you know, <laughs> it's like it, the presidential yeah. politics is serious business. Mm -hmm. By the way, to, in support of my theory that everything goes back to Richard Nixon, I went onto YouTube today and looked up Richard Nixon on Rowan and Martin's laugh in saying, suck it to me. <laughs> and uh, that was only nine seconds, but that's where it all started. It always starts with Nixon. I think NBC's problem is that high horse. I mean, they, you know, they, they made a statement early on, probably assuming, like a lot of people in the media, that Donald Trump wouldn't last that long, that it would be a mm. summer fling, and then it would fizzle away. Now, you know, not only is he still there, he's drawing huge ratings. He's a huge part of the reason these debates are getting enormous mm -hmm. ratings. So, of course, he's a, he's a bonanza. It's hard for them to look away from that. One, one credible argument I've heard is that if SNL had more Latino cast members, Latino writers on staff, maybe there'd be a little bit more internal pressure against Lorne Michaels, and, and, and maybe this wouldn't mm. have happened. It's also coming at an interesting moment when Trump's rating is, uh, poll numbers are down. He's been passed by Ben Carson. And, you know, there's, I think you're starting to see a little bit of what people thought might have happened in the summer, a little bit of a tiredness, a little bit of a, you know, let's, let's, let's move on. You know, his performance in the last debate was not vintage Trump, I think. So it's going to be interesting to see whether this entertainment context can, can rev things up a little bit. I do think NBC is, has totally opened itself up to accusation of, of hypocrisy, and I think that's a, a very real thing. Um, it's, it's, it is interesting to see when standards are applied and when they are yeah. not, and uh, time has a way of, yeah. of healing those issues. Well, I, I mean, I agree with everyone about the hypocrisy point, but I got to say, and I sound like a total old fart here, I know, which I, I kind of am or am becoming, but I am so sick of people running for a very important job, going around and doing these really soft entertainment appearances. I, you know, I get your point that it started with Nixon, but I, I saw a tweet today, you know, Hillary Clinton 
uh, her official Twitter account retweeted an appearance she made on, on Jimmy Kimmel where they were talking about hilarious names for a, a first husband if she's elected. You looked at it. No, I didn't look oh. at it. I saw it and I, I got all, you know, crusty yeah. oh. and then I moved on to something else. <laughs> I, it's, it's just, and you know, President Obama, I think, has played a big part in the sort of ascendance of uh, entertainment TV as a medium through which politicians try to communicate. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of sick of it. Bill Clinton did that too, and this has been going on since Nixon. Yeah. I, I and guess then the there Arsenio was Bill Hall thing, Arsenio right? Hall playing yeah, the sax, yeah. and that was the boxers yeah. and briefs moment, right? I mean, this is, this is this is a way for them to humanize themselves and also to reach audiences that might not be watching public affairs. Particularly programming. in a crowded field when, you, when everyone's trying to get their attention out, their, I, their word out. 